Hi Techies, in this video I am gonna cover one of the IACS scenario which is how do you convert single row from source into three rows in target. This is the one of the scenario based informatica interview question. So I am gonna explain this with mapping in IACS. So first of all I am gonna explain uh, the question clearly. So this is my source. I have uh, field subject 1, subject 2, subject 3. These are the columns I have. In that I have biology, physics and chemistry. These are my subjects. So now I am going to convert this one as like this. You can see my target. Uh, the, this, uh, this target is having a field as subjects. So all these subjects is going to be there in this subjects field only. So I am going to convert this one row as three rows okay so biology physics chemistry this is in the source as one row and in target it is in the same column with three rows right so this is the uh, question so i'm gonna explain with mapping now how we can create a logic for this in iacs so let's go so i'm in all projects and here i'm going to the default one here I am going to create new mapping, create new mapping and in here source, I am um, just going to take the source, one second this is the source, ok. Here if you see I have uh, sub same data which I have shown in the excel same data I kept here. Subject 1, Subject 2, Subject 3, Biology, Physics and Chemistry. This, this is the data I have kept in the source file. So I am going to take this source file as my source in the mapping. So I am going to here and in connections I am giving flat file connection and in objects I am going to select my subject file source file okay so where it is yes this is the one subject src csv so this is my source file and in formatting options i'm going to give comma delimited only so i'm going to give text qualifier none yeah everything is same i'm just keeping the properties and next I'm going to convert this one into three rows, right? One row we have to convert into three rows. So for that, I'm going to take three expressions. I'm just going to delete this link between source and target. And now three expressions I'm going to take. So if you see here, I'm just connecting these three expressions. In first expression, I'm just giving incoming fields only one. So if you see uh, here, I'm just including one field, first field here. So subject one only, I'm including. So only first field is going to the expression 1 expression and in expression 1 I am going to select only second field in the include so configure and subject 2 I am giving in the second expression oh. My system is a bit slow. I'm just saving and refreshing because it's not saving. It's if, when I click OK, it's not taking that. So I'll just refresh it once. So in expression. Uh, again, I will try here. 
to configure the second subject to yes now it's taken and in expression q so here i am giving again third field Okay, sorry uh, I have to save this my system is little bit you know lagging today include name of field and configure subject 3 so first expression subject 1 included and the second expression subject 2 and the third expression subject 3 ok and now I am going to give this to union that is union yes this is union right so i'm just going to give first field I'm just a little bit drag this first expression i'm giving to input one and second expression i'm going to give to input two And third expression, I'm going to give new group so it will create new input 3. Right. So three groups and each one one column from expression. Okay. And now in union, we have to create output field. It's created subject 1. But first of all, we have to uh, give this to the target because we are getting invalid first we have to give this link to the target will connect to the target in target I'm gonna create one dynamic file sorry st uh, static file name with the static file name but at runtime it's going to run so in single object and here I'm going to create a new one or I'll give some existed one only we'll see is there anything okay yeah subject underscore target already existed one uh, no it's better to create new one only because I don't know what data it's there in that file so my static file name I'm giving target of PZT of student info okay student subjects will give okay so this is my target file in formatting options I'm giving comma and uh, none text to qualifier and import from one okay now i'm going to show you how to create union output ports so already subject one is there but i wanna rename this one with subjects because in output fields i need subjects So from input 1, subject 1, from input 2, subject 2, and from input 3, subject 3 we are getting. Now this output field for from input 1 group we need to map here. And from input 2, 
again the subject to or have to map the subject uh, field output field from input 3 again I need to map this one okay so I'm just going to zoom reset because it became very big okay now we understood right so I have given three inputs to the subjects output group okay and I don't know the subject uh, how much length it's there I'll check one more time in the output fields it's 255 then fine okay and now I'm gonna validate this so mapping was valid and I'm gonna run this Oh, my SRC folder I opened, that's why it's uh, not read in, not able to read in. Okay. Now I'm going to run one more time. I just closed that, uh, my source file. So whenever you are, uh, um, I mean, you are... Uh, running a job you have to close all source and target files if any existed okay so if you see the first source is having one row and in target we have three rows so i think it's executed as per my logic now i'm gonna show you the target file data so this is my target file if you see yes expected we got this right so subjects is my header and uh, biology physics chemistry we got it right as in rows as rows same thing okay in target you are getting biology physics chemistry as subjects right so thank you for watching if you have any uh, comments please mention in the comment box and if you have any doubts also you can mention in the comment box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed my channel thank you